Uh, one, more, one thing on the pass, right? So some people are trying to get the pass and are having a little bit of problem getting chest to chest, right? So if I'm here and just really doing good core uh, ab resistance and I can't melt into that space, I'm just gonna walk towards the feet. And it may take more than a full 360. But as you walk towards the feet, that, that knee elbow space is gonna slowly open up, right? So I don't wanna try to go towards the head. I'm seeing some people try to go towards the head, which you can do too, but just for what we're practicing here, I wanna run my feet south. Step, 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 until you're chest to chest. Don't try to like rush and get ahead. Just keep walking and you're just gonna slowly sink down into this space, all right? While I got you out here, the last thing I want you to work on is sometimes people are gonna turn away instead of turning in. So if they turn away, same thing. You just drop your weights on them so you're following them down, chest to back. You can start throwing white hooks in and a jacking. This one's more simple than the last one, but still good to know. Yes, sir. What are your pros and cons for the head, shoulder height versus hip height? Shoulder height versus hip, hip height? You mean during the pass? Yeah. But like you said, aim for the hip, but also oh, here. Yeah, with my head? Yeah. I like to crash the far shoulder, but sometimes if someone's like way tall and they're way out there, if I feel like I'm gonna lean out so far that I fall and I don't feel like I can reach out that far, I'll just go down to my hand. So I feel like it's a little stronger to get over the shoulder, but if you can just get over that far hip on top of your hand, it's still strong. Say, so I prefer the shoulder. Cool, so one more time. If you turn away, I'm just ready to fall and cover it. My hip is covering the hip. I'm just climb up. Same thing. A couple more minutes on this and we'll roll. All right, one, two, three.